Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. This is a new Windows 11 build video. This is 22458 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Uh, as you can see here by down the watermark down at the bottom. This is from the dev channel and the dev channel builds are from the future development of Windows 11. Which is one why you see the watermark and two is why they can see more bugs than the October 5th release version. In fact, Microsoft say they're not testing any new features at the moment, they're testing bug fixes. And some of these bug fixes may make their way to the October 5th release, but the idea of this is a future version of Windows 11. Uh, the first obvious thing you can see here is the start menu. The icons in the start menu aren't aligned correctly. Um, this was a bug introduced in the previous build, and it should the start button should be around here. And as you can see, some of the icons are cutting off the side like that so it's a bit of an annoying bug but that's what you get when you're on the dev channel I've seen a few people complaining that they're not getting new feet or they're not uh, they don't like these bugs but that's what you get with the dev channel if you want a more stable build then head over to the beta channel and then you get the October 5th release version uh, so what is new in this build this is the um, updated tips app and uh, Microsoft now uh, say that it's got over 114 new tips in here for uh, Windows 11 so these are um, new in this build uh, I guess this would come to the release version but these tips and, and change so these tips and hints uh, um, yeah all the things that you want to do in Windows 11 are in here with um, with instructions on how to do it so that is new uh, or has been updated now something else that they mentioned in the release notes is actually from a previous build I noticed this is when you um, click on the power button now you've got the sign in options button that wasn't there on the previous release so um, or, or the previous release but one so that's in there now the rest of the changes are just uh, fixes, uh, they fixed an issue that was causing start menu input issues, they fixed an issue with folders that uh, with the hash w uh, weren't being included in the search, that's been fixed, and they fixed some issues with settings crashing, and advanced displays crashing, and uh, some typos has been fixed as well in settings. They fixed some things that would um, stop games crashing. So if you're doing Alt Enter, um, so which is switching between tabbed, uh, sort of windowed and full screen, that would um, crash the game if Auto HDR was enabled. So that they've got rid of that. They fixed some um, uh, crashes with uh, inbox apps and and things like that. And that's all the changes. Uh, I can't sorry I can't bring you more on this video because there aren't any more there are still some known issues there's still an issue with the Surface Pro X uh, crashing uh, with a, a green screen of death there's still some driver issues with driver PMP watchdog and you may not be able to enter text in the start menu uh, here this has been a long running bug you can't do the Windows R to bring up the the run dialog box but um, that it's still issue. I haven't seen it yet anyway um, and as I mentioned the icons are all shifted across here to the right and the taskbar may flicker I haven't seen that myself um, and there are, there's still an issue with some widgets not working correctly although they seem to be working okay for me and they're improving the search for um, Microsoft Store and the final one is the investigator reports of WSL2 and Hyper-V not working on ARM 64 based devices like the Pro X so if you're using Hyper-V or a WSL2 then you may have an issue on the Surface Pro X with that so those are the main changes with this build not a lot at the moment uh, Microsoft are getting ready for the October 5th release of Windows 11, which the builds are currently on the beta channel, and I've got some videos of those as well. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.